you're wondering if you should get the RZ67, all I can tell you is that if I could rewind time, I wouldn't have bought it. This isn't going to be an in-depth review, because I personally don't own this camera long enough to give you a good answer. But as of right now, there are only a few reasons why I think you should get the RZ67. I've been using it for a while now, and I'm not sure if it's the right camera for me. But before we get into that, here's why it's great. The RZ67 is a modular camera system, meaning that it has interchangeable parts. You could swap out the lenses, finders, film bags, and even the ground glass. It's also really well known for taking portraits. Being an SLR system, focusing can be very accurate. The bellows focusing also allows you to focus much closer than other cameras. But here's why I don't think that it's the right camera for me. Firstly, the RZ is huge and it's really heavy. It's also not the best camera to carry around. Next, most RZs come with the waist finder, which I really suck at. The weight and ergonomics of it also doesn't help. It's just not the camera you would choose to have around your neck for a casual day out. So yeah, this camera might work well for you, but personally it's just not for me. Anyway, a couple weeks ago a friend of mine decided to shave his head so we went out to a field and I brought the RZ to take some portraits. This is how it went.